So now you're in very good shape. You just you just say, I don't believe it. Okay, so you don't. So now what? All you can do is wait and see. Wait until you see for yourself for sure. Okay? Wait until you see for yourself for sure. All right? Then you'll know for sure. You'll know in your heart. Not because somebody said so, but because you see it. And not because you're rebelling against someone's pressuring you, but because you see it for yourself. Okay? Oh, let me say a couple of other things about the Bible on here. I'm sure people are people are interested in the topic. Like, for example, which Bible? Well, you know something? There are several um, different versions of the Bible. You know that. There's King James and New King James and English Standard and, and um, NASB and NIV. And there's other ones. Okay? And actually, most of them are okay. See? You, you can read a passage in any of them, and if, if it's meant for you to see what's being said, then you'll see it. See? Or you can sort of have a hunch, well, there's something here that is, is of interest to me for some reason. Then you can look in different versions, and maybe one of the versions, the way it's written, it works for you. Oh, okay, see? So one of the versions will, will, will work for you. So I... Um, what do I, I, I like the, um, I kind of like the New King James quite a bit. I have a little New King James New Testament. I have it in the car right next to me. Okay, in case I'm, and I have a little concordance. You know how concordance, you know what a concordance is, don't you? That's where it has a word and then it shows you all, all of the places in, in the Bible where that, where all the verses where that word was used. Okay, but they tend to be big. Well, I have a little one. I have a little pocket one, and the print is not so small, so it's actually quite very nice. I have it in my car. So if I'm driving and I hear something, then I can say, oh, I'll remember the keywords, and then I, and then the next time after I've pulled over and stopped wherever I'm going, then I can look in my concordance and maybe find the verse where it's, where it's located. I have a big NASB Bible. I like that one. It's kind of literal. Kind of literal. And it's a study Bible, so it has lots of notes and, um, you know, it, it references to other verses, which I like that quite a bit. Okay. I have a, a Bible that's has, that has six versions in it. The New English and New Living. Some of them are very beautiful, very, be very beautifully done. Okay, they may not be perfect translations, but they... They catch the spirit of it in, in a very nice way. So I have that one. So it's parallel. You think I can see six Bibles all at the same time with, with the New Testament. Okay, I have a, a chain. Um, what do you call it? Let me show you. Let me show you. Here it is. This is my, my Thompson chain reference Bible. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Okay. It has a, a very clever way of linking verse to verse to verse to verse where you can follow something all the way through some concept. That you, can, you can look up a concept. Um, see if I can come up with an example for you. Okay, well, um, let's see here. Okay, rest. The word rest. So here it has a whole bunch of... Uh, um, places where you'll find the word uh, rest. It's very nice. But it's not like a concordance. It's different. It, it gives you, here it says, rest, physical, enjoined, the divine presence given, vainly sought to escape from trouble, true repose found in God, lost by stubbornness, appropriated by faith, eternal. So it, it, it has those subcategories, and then you can find the verses. Very nice, okay? And here's one of my favorites, the Kaboris Manuscript. The Kaboris Manuscript. It's not the whole New Testament. It's only certain parts. I wish they had done the whole, but the the the, um, the, the Yonan Codex Foundation and Mr. McDougall did a beautiful translation. The, an ancient manuscript was found in Aramaic. The language Jesus spoke in Aramaic.
Gothic New Testament from a long time ago. And it was beautifully translated into English by uh, the Yonan Codex Foundation um, under the direct direction of Mr. McDougal. And it's only certain passages as the uh, Sermon on the Mount and some other key passages. And it's just beautiful because you get a sense of what the what with the original Aramaic, how it was said in the original Aramaic, you get a sense of that. It's just just beautiful. So I love this one. So okay, so they're so they're good. Okay, so there's different Bibles, and uh, um, you know, most of them are okay. And I know that certain groups will twist the meaning, and you know, you get you get that. But never mind that. You can get the Bible and you can, you'll see for yourself if it's important for you to know. If it's important or timely for you to know, then you'll just know. You'll know what's important and what the meaning of what you're reading is. Okay? But remember that life is for living and not for, for studying. See, a lot of people would study, study the Bible. All they do is study, study, okay? and they miss the spirit. They miss the spirit. What did Christ say? He said, "He said, the letter kills, but the spirit gives life." It's the spirit. See, it's the internal testimony. When I read something on the on the outside, I read it here. Then, if there's no inner testimony, then I just read it. it goes in one ear and out the other. Okay, nothing. Okay, put it away and go do something else. A couple of days later, I pick it up, turn to a page. Oh, now there's an inner testimony. The inner testimony is the thing. The Spirit itself bears witness to what is true. Even as what is on the outside bears witness to the, to the truth, so does the truth. So you have the truth itself with a capital T bearing, bearing witness. Okay? And then on the outside, the words bear witness 